where there is none. The United States could actually sit at the table and make the difference for people with disabilities because we're willing to push our values and hold other nations accountable to meet our standards, the gold standard of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Mr. President, I'd ask just for another three minutes, please. Without objection. Mr. President, I've heard some of my Republican colleagues talk many times about making the rest of the world more like America. I hate to think that now, when we have an opportunity to do that, they will retreat from the core conviction and oppose a treaty modeled on the United States example, which has no recourse in American courts and no effect on American law. This treaty isn't about American behavior except to the degree that it influences other countries to be more like us. This treaty is about the behavior of other countries and their willingness to raise their treatment of people with disabilities to our level. It's that simple. This treaty isn't about changing America. It's a treaty to change the world to be more like America. So why join? I've heard my colleagues ask several times, why, if it doesn't have recourse in the law, why join? I'll tell you why, Mr. President. Because we can sit at the table and affect the lives of our citizens by pushing other countries upwards. Because we gain credibility and accelerate change through our advocacy by being part of a process. Because it's good for American business, which can sell products and services as other nations raise their standards and need our expertise to meet their goals, which is why, incidentally, the United States Chamber of Commerce supports this treaty and a huge number of businesses. Why support it? Because George H.W. Bush started this process and President George W. Bush signed the treaty to participate in it. And because, in the end, this treaty and our participation in it, and this is the most important, can improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. Because to join it is to keep faith with the men and women who have suffered grievous disability in defense of our nation, and we owe them nothing less. This treaty is not about changing America. It's about America changing the world. But a vote here is a test of this institution. This vote is a test of whether the Senate, which passed the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act and the Americans with Disabilities Act, is still capable of voting to change things, let alone send a message that could change the world. I ask colleagues to do for the world what they've done for America. Walk down the aisle here and for millions everywhere who cannot walk make a statement. Raise your voice and vote for millions who are voiceless in their own lands. Stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. This is not about the United Nations. This is about common humanity. And this vote is to test whether the Senate will stand up for those who cannot see or hear and whether senators can hear the truth and see the facts. Please don't let Captain Brzezinski down. Don't let Senator Bob Dole down. Most importantly, don't let the Senate and the country down. Approve this treaty. The question occurs on the resolution of advice and consent to ratification of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Alexander. Ms. Ayat. Mr. Barrasso. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Begich. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Blumenthal. Aye. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Aye. 
Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. No. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Dement. Yeah. Mr. Durbin. Aye. Mr. Enzi. Mrs. Feinstein. Mr. Franken. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mr. Graham. Mr. Grassley. Mrs. Hagen. Mr. Harkin. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Heller. Mr. Hoven. Mrs. Hutchison. Mr. Inhoff. Mr. Inoue. Mr. Isaacson. Mr. Johans. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Carey. Mr. Kirk. Ms. Klobuchar. Mr. Cole. Mr. Kyle. Ms. Landrew. Mr. Lautenberg. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Luger. Mr. Manchin. Mr. McCain. Mrs. McCaskill. Mr. McConnell. Mr. Menendez. Aye. Ms. Buckles, no. 
Mr. Merkley. Ms. Mikulski. Mr. Moran. Ms. Murkowski. Mrs. Murray. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska. Mr. Nelson of Florida. Mr. Paul. Mr. Portman. Mr. Pryor. Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby, Ms. Snow, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Aye. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Mr. Webb. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Barrasso, Begich, Bennett, Bingaman, Blumenthal, Brown of Massachusetts, Brown of Ohio, Cantwell, Harper, Collins, Coons, Durbin, Gillibrand, Harkin, Johnson of South Dakota, Carey, Klobuchar, Cole, Leahy, Luger, Manchin, McCain, Menendez, Mikulski, Murkowski, Murray, Nelson of Nebraska, Nelson of Florida, Pryor, Reed of Rhode Island, Reed of Nevada, Rockefeller, Sanders, Schumer, Shaheen, Snow, Stabenow, Tester, Udall of New Mexico, and Warner. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin, aye. Mr. Lieberman. Aye. Mr. Lieberman, aye. Ms. Landrieu. Aye. Ms. Landrieu, aye. aye. Mr. Casey. Aye. Mr. Casey, aye. Mr. Alexander. Mr. Alexander, no. Mr. Corker. Mr. Corker, no. Mr. Enzi, Mr. Enzi, no. Mr. Burr.
Mr. Burr, no. Mr. Webb, Mr. Webb, aye. Mr. Grassley, Mr. Grassley, no. Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Franken, Mr. Franken, aye. Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Feinstein, aye. Mr. Inouye, Mr. Inouye, aye. Mr. Baucus, Mr. Baucus, aye. Mr. Wyden, Mr. Wyden, aye. Mrs. Hagen, Mrs. Hagen, Aye. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Crapo. No. Mr. Johans. Mr. Johans. No. Mr. Risch. Mr. Risch. No. Mrs. Hutchison. Mrs. Hutchison. No. Mr. Cochran. Mr. Cochran. Aye. Senators voting in the negative. Alexander, Blunt, Burr, Corker, Cornyn, Crapo, Dement, Enzi, Grassley, Hutchison, Johans, Kyle, Lee, McConnell, Paul, Risch, Roberts, Sessions, and Wicker. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Hatch. No. Ms. Mikulski. Mrs. McCaskill. Mrs. McCaskill. Aye. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Conrad. Aye. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Rubio. No. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Shelby, no. Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Isaacson, no. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates, no. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, no. Mr. Vitter, Mr. Vitter, no. Mr. Toomey, Mr. Toomey, no. Mr. Bozeman. Mr. Bozeman, no. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inhofe, no.
Ms. Ayotte. Ms. Ayotte, aye. Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham, no. Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran. No. Mr. Merkley. Mr. Merkley. Aye. Mr. Portman. Mr. Portman. No. Mr. Levin. Mr. Levin, aye. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Whitehouse, aye. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Coburn, no. Mrs. Boxer. Mrs. Boxer, aye. Mr. Udall. Aye. Mr. Udall of Colorado, aye. Mr. Thune. Mr. Thune. No. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Akaka, aye. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Chambliss, no. Mr. Heller. Mr. Heller. No. Mr. Hoven. Mr. Hoven. No. Mr. Cochran. Mr. Cochran. No.
On this vote, the yeas are 61, the nays are 38, two-thirds of the senators present not having voted in the affirmative. The resolution of ratification is not agreed to. Mr. President. The majority leader. Both Senator McConnell and I have approved committee's meeting during, during today's session. I ask consent these requests be agreed to and be printed in the record. Without objection. Mr. President, we hope shortly after the um, caucuses are ended today that we'll have a vote on final passage of the defense authorization bill. Uh, the managers have a few more amendments they're going to try to clear, but I think uh, quite very quickly after the caucus we'll have a vote. Now very quickly around here is kind of a relative term, as you know, but we hope to do it as soon as we can. Oh. Move. Lay that on the table, Mr. President. Without objection. Thanks, Harry. Mr. President, will you take us out for the... Under the previous order, the Senate stands in recess until 2.15 p.m. And so 